Sprout Scouts. Welcome back to the garden. I'm Allison and this is Maisie. Today we are going to be learning about watering and weeding as we keep our garden growing in the summer season. Let's dig in. We've been learning about all the things plants need to grow. Have you ever had a pet? What are the sort of things they needed to live a healthy life? Well, I know Geo, my pet rock, needs food and water. Exactly. In our last two adventures, we learned all about nutrients and decomposers. And in this episode, we're going to learn all about water. Today, I invited my friends, Jay, Brett, Jennifer, and Samara to the garden to play a game and to show us how they take care of their own gardens. So how do we know if a plant needs water? A plant that's water stressed will be pretty droopy and limp. If it doesn't get enough water for a very long period of time, it'll start to turn brown or even die. Also, let me know if you've seen Maisie anywhere. I have no idea where she's gone. In a moment, my friends and I are going to play a game. In this game, we are all plants. We need to make sure we have enough water to drink. I have hidden a bunch of water droplets all around the garden. And we need to make sure we each find three of these water droplets. Are you ready to play? On your mark, get set, go. We were all hoping for three water droplets. How many did you find? Phew, that was really tough. But luckily, I did manage to find three water droplets. I only found two. What does that mean? Unfortunately, as someone who's left a plant unwatered for a really long time, you're probably pretty wilty and droopy with just two drops of water. You definitely need a good drink. Goodbye, cruel world. If you'd like to play this game at home, this is just a piece of cardboard that I've painted blue. You can cut out your own water droplets and play this game in your backyard or in a green space. We need to make sure that we're only planting plants we can water, which means we either need fewer plants or more water. While three water droplets is perfect, any more than that, and the soil can get pretty soupy. We want our soil to be moist, wet, but not super wet. What are some ways we can make sure our plants get enough water? A good way to see if your plants need water is to become a plant yourself. I'm gonna grow out my root fingers. Once your roots are grown, stick your hands in the soil and see how much moisture is down there. My fingers are pretty dry. There's not enough water in there. Plant roots spend their whole life beneath the surface, so we wanna make sure they have enough to drink. Today, we're gonna be using a watering technique called sweeping and sparkling. I'm going to be using a hose with a nozzle today, but you can use a watering can at home. I'm going to start by sweeping over the plants with my hose until the soil starts to sparkle. The soil will start to sparkle because the light will be bouncing off the water droplets. Okay, 
Let's see how the soil feels after just one sweep over. Now get your root fingers out and we're gonna dig them into the soil. Hmm, mine is still pretty dry. We might have to sweep and sparkle just a few more times until there's enough water in the soil. Let's do another round. This is what your root fingers should look like if your soil has enough water. Mulching and weeding also help us manage water use in the garden. To help my plants grow, to help them retain moisture, and to prevent weed growth, I'm putting mulch in my soil. <laughs> we want to make sure we only water the right plants. There's lots of green things in here that we don't want to water because they can take away water and nutrients from the plants that produce food. Everything likes to grow in the summertime, and if you're not careful, your garden can turn into a pesky plant paradise. When we pull weeds, we want to be sure to get the roots out, not just the green parts above the soil. If we don't get the roots out, the plant could grow back from the roots. If you'd like some additional journal prompts, go ahead and pause this video and write some of these down in your Sprout Scouts journal. Today, we learned about watering and weeding. Did you have fun? I know we did. If you'd like to learn more, there's plenty to do all summer long. In our next episode, we're going to be learning all about beneficial insects, or as I like to call them, good bugs, and how we can bring them into our gardens. See you there. What are sort what are the sort of the have you ever had a pet? Plant roots spend their whole life beneath the surface of the wait a wait a wait. You got it. <laughs> Let's look here for what we want to keep and what we don't want to keep. <laughs> <laughs>